To write the net ionic equation for Mg plus HCl, the first thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. It looks like we put a 2 here in front of the HCl, and everything's the same on each side. Next, we need to write the state for each substance here in the reaction. Magnesium, that's a metal. It's going to be a solid. Strong acids like HCl, they are usually aqueous. That means our magnesium chloride will be aqueous, dissolved in water. And then hydrogen, H2, you should recognize that as a gas. The next step is to split these soluble compounds here into their ions. So hydrogen, group 1 on the periodic table, that'll have a 1 plus charge. Chlorine, group 17, that has a 1 minus. On this side, magnesium, that's in group 2, it has a 2 plus ionic charge. And remember the chlorine we said was minus. So we have our ions up here. Now let's split this up and write the complete ionic equation. So we have Mg, and I won't write the state here until the end, save some time, plus we have H plus and the chloride ion, Cl minus. On the product side, we have the Mg2 plus plus the Cl minus, and then our hydrogen gas. We need to take into account the coefficients, though. That's why we balance the equation. So we have two of the hydrogen, the H plus, and two of the Cl minus. We also, over here, we have one Mg, but we have two chlorines. So when this dissociates, we'll end up with these two chloride ions. So this is the complete ionic equation. If we wrote the state, it would be a solid, aqueous, 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 and then a gas. So now let's cross out the things that are the same. Mg, Mg2+, those are different. 2H+, and H2, that's different. 2Cl-, 2Cl-, that's the same. So these are spectator ions. We'll cross those out. And now we have the net ionic equation. And that'll look like this. So that's the net ionic equation for Mg plus HCl, magnesium plus hydrochloric acid. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.